Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just here to inspect a containable leak on a union. And then I'm gonna give you a, a little tour of this plant room. So we have a flange over here. Always remember to get the DN and PN number on these. As our DN number, it's PN6. And over here you have your lagging, foam lagging, but inside, uh, on the inside, but on the outside of the lagging you have your cladding. And I've also got some directional tape on there. Uh, indicates that it's the flow. Then up here we have a what do we have here? We have a female female screwed coupling. We've got a bush and then we have a AAV on top. Then just on the other side we have a two inch elbow. And we have a test point here for the gas. That leads us back over to here where we were with our leak. On top of our boiler, we have uh, air inlet, but it's got a filter on it. These filters are good for preventing the um, wrong kind of dirt inside the boiler and inside the burner. So we're gonna get a nice clean supply. Moving away from our boilers, we have our air handling units with our damper actuators and just below our actuator we have some loose wiring it's not good practice to leave wiring like this should tape it up or do something but yeah, it just shouldn't be left like this then below we have another damper a damper motor we have a cold water main down here. Fifty-four mil. Some sort of scale buster here. Earthing clamp. And an isolation valve. And then here we have a gas solenoid. Then either side of this gas solenoid, what we have is a butterfly valve. We've got some test points there. Another test point with a lever on it. I suppose this can also be at, um, used as like a purge point. On our air handling units, we have humidifiers connected to them. Also have these inverters connected to our air handling unit of our local isolation. We have some spare filters here, bag filters for our air handling unit. I have a nice freeway valve up here in its lagging. This would be the old freeway valve. I presume it was changed because it was leaking. Up here we have a compression fitting that uh, looks as though it had replaced a leak that had been cut in. You've got the old pipe on the left and new on the right. Sometimes people choose to use compression um, rather than press fit. Have a power optimizer here. You can see the mains coming in at 426, 426 volts. And it's coming out at an optimized output of 398. It's the side of the unit, it's the top of the unit. Got some isolators here. You can open these up, turn the power off, open these up and then look inside in these isolators. We have our safety mat here, our electric safety mat below the panel. 
a 200 litre expansion vessel. A chilled water pressurization unit. Showing 3.4 bar. Have a chilled water dosing pot here. Then a 500 litre expansion vessel and another 500 litre expansion vessel. And a heating pressurization unit showing 1.4 bar. And here we have another dose input. We have a gauge here and then we have our pump. This pump is labelled as boiler primary. So it's our constant temperature pump. Then here we have some VT pumps, variable temperature pumps, going off to various parts of the building. Then we've got some constant temperature to AHU pumps here, and their bellows, nice rubber bellows there. Have a ton dish here, and our discharge in the ton dish. And a commissioning valve. Then we have some ventilation here. Got some low ventilation. And we have some high ventilation as well. Some good low and high. We've got our flu sample point here for our Idol Extra EL470. We've got our binder point here on our heating return to one of our boilers. We have our condensate trap to one of our Idol boilers down there nice big crane gate valve with its identification tag on there it's nice when these gauges have their isolation on there so they can be changed quite easily got a gate valve here and a drain point back to our air handling unit and we've got our air pressure switches and our hose going into our air pressure switch and then more air pressure switches at the other end of the air handling unit have a nice drain point here some nice lever handle valves this looks like an interesting valve Okay, I better get on with sorting out my leak on my union. Thank you for joining me. Please leave comments in the section below. Until next time, bye bye bye.